Now, how do I manipulate objects on a finer scale? Instead of just affecting large objects, I want to be able to select individual pieces of that object. What you want to do is right-click on that object to open up this contextual menu. It's called a marking menu. And you'll see, while I'm holding the right mouse button, I can move this little clock around the circle and choose any one of these options. Face is a polygon, so that will move me to component mode and allow me to select polygons. And you know you're in component mode when your mesh turns blue. When you're in object mode, the mesh is green when it's selected, okay? So I can select a certain number of faces. I'm holding down shift as I select these, the same as with objects, and adding to my selection. So I can also hold down control and click to remove objects from the selection. And I can leave that selection and press the option key to tumble around my view to get a different view on it, to select other things and unselect, take parts away from that selection. So this is going to be very useful for getting very specific about my geometry. Later I'll show you ways to manipulate that geometry to sculpt the objects that you want to create. Now when I want to deselect all of these faces, I can just click off in space behind the object and everything gets deselected. If I right click again and go to edge, then I'm not selecting faces, I can now select the edges of the geometry. And you'll see that when I select the edges, they change color. So I can see the edges that I've got selected. With a loop going around something like this, I can double click that edge and it will conveniently select the whole loop for me. I can double click around this torus to get the edge that goes all the way around it. And if I shift double click, I can add entire rings to my selection. If I want to unselect everything that I've selected here, again, click off to the side of the object into the viewport. I can also right click again on the object and go to vertex. A vertex is the little dot or the little point at the juncture of the edges where the edges intersect. They all intersect at points or vertices. So these are the smallest units of the three-dimensional geometry. Okay, so when I'm selecting vertices, I'm ready to do very fine, very detailed alterations of my object. And again, I can drag a marquee around certain vertices, but I need to be careful because not only am I selecting the vertices that I can see, it's also selecting what's on the back that I can't see. When I drag that marquee around, I'm selecting everything that it touches. Now, there is a way to prevent that from happening so that I will only be able to select Select the vertices that I can see. And to do that, you need to go over to your Show Hide Tool Settings button and click that, the one with the wrench, and it'll open up your Tool Settings menu. In the Tool Settings menu for the Selection tool, you can click on this box called Camera Based Selection. And now, with that checked, if I drag a marquee, it's not going to select the vertices that are out of my perspective view. It's only going to select what can be seen by the camera at any time. If I turn that on, it can help me, but I still have to be careful because I got that little vertex there selected. Selected. So sometimes we select more than we mean to. So selection is an art by itself. You have to be very careful and pay attention to what you're selecting or else it's going to cause you a lot of grief. I also want to remember to uncheck this box when I'm done using camera based selection so that I can go back to the default mode which is going to select everything that is encompassed by my marquee when I drag it. To close the tool settings panel I can go ahead and click this toggle again and there it goes away. It's not gone permanently it's just conveniently hidden. Another selection mode that I don't use very often, frankly, is the paint selection tool. In vertex mode, this will allow me to paint just like a paintbrush to create a selection on the object. And this is a camera-based selection tool. So rather than dragging a marquee or trying to click certain vertices by themselves, this paint selection tool allows me to more easily move across the object and select certain vertices. If I control click, then I can unpaint. I can deselect certain vertices that I don't want. So again, this can be done on purpose. It's not just for fixing your errors when you deselect things. It can actually be a strategy that you use to get very specific selections by going ahead and selecting more than you really need and then editing your selection by subtracting from it. Now with the paint selection tool, again, if I open the tool settings menu, I'll see a different set of options for this tool than I had for the regular selection tool. You want to see the difference? I'll just click back and forth. So I can change the radius here of that paintbrush. Look how big it's gotten. If I move that slider down below one, I can get a small brush. I think the default is a radius of one unit. So I can also have a softer brush with more falloff, a harder edge brush with less falloff, and square brush 
all these will allow me very precise selections. I don't use this tool as much as I could because the other ones work all right. So I can go ahead and close the tool settings on that. So when I'm done working on faces, vertices, and edges, and I want to go back to object mode, I have to right click again to bring up this marking menu. And instead of face, vertex, or edge, I can choose object mode, which bumps me back out to a place where I can select entire objects and work on a larger scale. You need to know that when you go into component mode to manipulate faces, edges, and so forth, you can only work on the object that you have selected. If you select another object, it will take you out of component mode and back into object mode, which you can do, but if I want to work on faces again, or vertices, or edges on this object, I have to, again, right-click and select one of those components.